Hey guys, I haven't spoken to you in a while, so I thought I'd do a voiceover today. We're doing a striped tumbler. Check it out. This is a 30 ounce skinny by Hog, and you want to make sure that you have cleaned it and prepped it by using your sandpaper to sand it down. And I don't know if you can see the scratches on the tumbler, but that's what you want to see. And then you'll wash it and then dry it and prep it with alcohol. Now I'm going to apply my one inch painter's tape all the way down the tumbler. And I'm going to apply each stripe right up under each other um, because I need to know the spacing. Um, so instead of just applying a piece of tape every other line, I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way down and then remove the negative tape after I finish. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and finish taping this tumbler. It's pretty boring. You don't need to see that part. Alright, now that we've got everything taped, we're going to remove the negative tape here. And you can always save that negative tape by putting it on a piece of parchment paper. And that way you can use it for another tumbler that you're doing. So now that we're ready, we're going to go ahead and grab our Mod Podge and I'd like to preface this with saying I am not a fan of Mod Podge, however I had many requests to do a tumbler using Mod Podge and not the epoxy method, so I thought this would be a good one to do. Even though I have done the striped tumbler using the epoxy method and if you guys want to see a video on that let me know. But we're using peachy olive glitters. and. You'll see that our yellow is the St. Jude and the brown is cold brew. So basically you're just going to apply your Mod Podge on the silver parts of your tumbler or if you've prepped your tumbler and painted it, you know, on that negative part and you'll apply your glitter. When using Mod Podge, you want to make sure that you see those streaks that I have there, you don't have those in the 
final process before you actually lay your glitter. So right here, I'm just slathering up the tumbler with the Mod Podge, and then I'm going to wipe it and kind of get some of those streaks off. Because Mod Podge dries so quickly, we are going to glitter it layer by layer. Now, again, with the epoxy method, you could epoxy the whole, all the stripes and then glitter it all at the same time. But with the Mod Podge method, you do want to do it step by step. You're gonna to wanna to peel and let it dry for about an hour and then seal it with whatever clear spray that you use. So I got distracted with Cam and I messed up. I went ahead and started going on to the next step and I forgot that I'm not doing that. I'm doing a new method. So, you know, bear through it when you see that yellow on the tumbler. I tried to scrape it as much as I could, but you'll see in the next step what we're gonna be doing. So with this new method, you will just cut out your stripes with your vinyl using the color of the glitter that you're gonna be using. And then you'll apply your Mod Podge to the vinyl strip. And then apply the strip to the tumbler and then glitter. Now, you can do this with every stripe, so you don't have to do the tape at all. I just wanted to show you the tape method and this method, but Typically, I would just use the vinyl stripes and Mod Podge the vinyl stripes. And I know you're wondering why wouldn't I just glitter the vinyl while it's on the paper. I've tried that, but it ends up cracking and the glitter is uneven when I try to apply it to the tumbler. So I find it best to go ahead and wet the Mod Podge or wet the stripe with the Mod Podge and then apply the tumbler and then apply the glitter. Thank you. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and go line by line because again, we're using Mod Podge, so we wanna make sure that we do it one step at a time. Um, and you'll see these striped tumblers take a lot of effort. So I know I speed through the process a lot, but do know that it takes a, a while and you know, don't feel like, well, I'm not moving fast enough. Take your time when you're doing these because you wanna make sure that they look good. You know, I'm not saying they have to be 100% perfect, but you wanna make sure that they're, you know, as good as they can be. So just kinda of take your time. Now that we've got the stripes complete, we're gonna go ahead and dust off all the excess yellow that has spilled over to the brown that's all already dried and sealed. You can wait until your, pot or your Mod Podge with the yellow glitter dries to sand it off or you can sand it off then. It's all up to you. Now we're ready to apply our first layer of epoxy. Make sure that you're applying a nice thick coat of epoxy. So since we have some time, let's go ahead and do our print and cut decals. I'm going to do a print and cut sunflower for this, but of course, whatever you decide to put on your tumbler, I just wanted to show you my little cheat method with print and cut. So this is the print and cut or the printable vinyl from Cricut. And I find that it's too flimsy to just throw into the printer. And I know I showed this in a previous video, but I want to show it again. What I like to do is get a piece of cardstock and it's the 85 pound I think cardstock that I use um, and I like to use this Elmer's spray adhesive and this is the one that is you can remove things and reposition things so you'll just spray down your cardstock and then align your Cricut vinyl the back of the Cricut vinyl to the cardstock like it's a piece of paper and just attach it there and then you'll just sl simply slide it into the printer and it'll print just like regular paper.
All right, it's been about four hours, so we're gonna apply our second blood coat of epoxy. And we're going to allow this to dry or cure for about eight hours before we try to handle it again. Now it's time to design your tumbler. So with whatever decals you've decided to make, go ahead and place them at this time. So I've got all my decals on and now in that little space there that doesn't have anything, I'm going to go ahead and put Helen Keller or a piece of her quote where she talks about standing tall and facing the sun. So we're applying our final coat of epoxy and we're going to allow it to cure overnight or 12 plus hours. Um, and I like to pop any bubbles after about 10 minutes of the epoxy being applied by using a torch. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for tuning into my videos. We are close to a thousand subscribers and I think that is wonderful. So if you don't mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anybody in the Tumblr world that you think might benefit from it. Thank you so much again, bye.